Hello, my name is uh, Mikey. I'm from GameFront.com and I'm going to be playing Jurassic World Evolution today. Hopefully this is a new Let's Play that I want to start on the Hello. channel. May I say oh, welcome? let's my listen to Dr. Dr. Malcolm. Malcolm. You may have heard of me. Well, correction, you should have heard of me, especially now that you're here. So before you are the islands that you need to manage, if you can. The five deaths. Jeez, if only, if only there had been five. Okay, so as I was saying, hopefully this is a new playthrough. I think okay, Malcolm's going to interrupt me again. Yep. I need to begin. Isla Matanceros. It's relatively stable. Yeah, you can uh, you can get your feet wet here, and you should, because diving into the deep end of the pool is where the big, angry, hungry things are. And uh, you want to be ready before you try that. Can I just say that I think it's amazing that they got Jeff Goldblum to narrate this character again. Like, he's such a boss. He's one of my favourite Jeffs. Okay, so this is Jurassic World Evolution. And you can I'm see... I'm Cabot Finch. I don't like this guy. And crisis management, and I'm here to he just seems you. like a typical You'll start by building a busybody. So, yeah, you start by building a lab. We've already started on an enclosure for you. You should just attach it to the side. But watch out for dinosaurs. <laughs> ah, just kidding. We start with a generous $3 million. Uh, surely we can't burn through that that fast. So let's see if we can put an enclosure here. I have played a little bit of this game. I played like four hours to test it out to see if it will run. Oh, you have to place it here. Right, okay. I'm just going to go there then. Let's focus on what you're here it's to do. Building it up. Which is create dinosaur facilities on the islands we call the Five Deaths. Actually, Las Cinco Muertes. <laughs> because Spanish is the lingo of choice around no, here. Of course it is. Uh, why are we building theme parks on You'll need to connect islands to the that have got names of of Five Deaths? It's just grid. like, it's just a foreshadowing really, isn't it? So let's create a path. Cheap path, narrow. I think later on you can place more glamorous paths now comes the real test incubating a dinosaur you'll start with so a I think this is mimus. this is the tutorial select the creation lab and pick a hatchery bay there's enough genome data for your first viable dinosaur so it's just taking me through the motions obviously having played this before only four hours you know haven't played it that much I have done this before so I just click this guy this is a Struthia mimus we also have a Ceratosaurus, the only carnivorous one we have during the first period of the game. So Edmontosaurus and the good old Triceratops. So let's start off with a Struthiomimus. We can modify the genome. I can't. I don't know if you can do much. Like we can give it dappled skin, but that'll take us down five percent. So I don't really want to do that. And over here we have the lifespan, where we can give it a longer life but it damages the viability. So I'm just going to keep everything default and I'm just going to do what the game is telling me to and spend 30 grand. Imaginations of the ambitious, undoing Indubating. extinction, playing with nature's laws. What can possibly go wrong? Come what, what on, indeed? Doctor. You know we've learned so much and invested even more in our Jurassic operations Look at this. Look at last it. Oh. time. Yes, Lens Mr. Fetch, yes, the... The last time. There's always a last time. Just look at how pretty the, the whole next. thing is. Like, we have this whole... I feel like we have the whole island? I can't remember. I feel like we should at least have these. Oh, our dinosaur is ready to release. So let's go to our creation lab. And let's release this little buddy. Life. It begins. The most precious moment, the result of incalculable actions and reactions, trials and errors, <laughs> genetic mutations and unknowable combinations, chaos, all leading to a living, breathing, thinking being, an entity, distinct and unique. And now we, you, just manufacture them. So, well done. I guess. So yeah, we've got a Struthia Minus. The Hammond Foundation has three main areas Going of interest. for a little drink. Security, entertainment, and science. 
I've already nudged the heads of each division to reach out to you personally. They'll offer opportunities and incentives for you to be part of their team. Yeah, so you're just like a busy body. It'll help <coughs> you develop your facility. He's like nudging these guys. These guys do the real work, but he'll take the credit. So we can do science, entertainment, or security. So I'm gonna do entertainment because that's gonna hey, make money. I'm Isaac. I've been hearing good things about you. I'm in charge of the entertainment division here. What good is the world's greatest show if no one sees it? Right, okay. Don't so answer. build, connect, and power an expedition center. Painfully obvious. Okay, cool. What I'm saying is that we need people in our parks. Fill up our facilities with warm bodies. I want to rename this guy. Come on, let me rename him. Okay, I guess we'll just um, do what the game wants us to do before we try and rename our dinosaurs. So we need to build an entertainment center, an expedition center. So we need to do that within these green lines where there's power. Let's get quite close though. Let's see how close we can get it to the others. That's fine. So we'll get rid of these trees thing. later on. Your reputation. Your rep, quote unquote. Your Keep path. an eye on it, okay? If you have a solid reputation with a division, you're more likely to benefit from them. Financially, I mean. But, like life, it's a balancing act. We have an expedition center. That means we can go and get fossils, right? For new dinos. The entertainment division is taking notice of your success. As your reputation increases with them, so too Hopefully does the this opportunity guy goes away to tackle soon. more challenging missions. Oh, transmission incoming. Entertainment, mission one. Acquire 50% genome, Ceratosaurus. Hey, That's the carnivore. How you doing? I got some cool stuff you need Ooh, to be a part of. So a million I'm dollars. Out. Come on and help the winning team. So let's find a Ceratosaur. Ceratosaur, you're here. So let's send our team there. Hey, hello, Alpha. I'm gonna rename you Alpha now. Your job is simple, really. Create dinosaurs which attract visitors to your facilities. Yes, I know my job. Thank you. Money, huh? Which means you can do more so he's not research got any food. to build better facilities and create more dinosaurs. And there you go. A circle of life, development and resources, nature and commerce. See? Simple. So he's not got food. He's comfortable, but he has no population or social. So we need to give him some food. Oh wow, look at that rain. It is. Really feels like a tropical rainstorm. Let's give him some food. So, enclosures. Can we ground hold head or feeder? Let's give him one of these. Maybe. Here ish? Or maybe one. Over here. I want to keep them all near each other. So, I'm going to build like four. So that we can put an enclosure. We can put a, a viewing station there in the later game because here we can do a oh we can do it now a viewing gallery I can put that here and they can all watch the dinosaurs feeding which is obviously a big attraction so now I'm probably going off script a little bit here by doing this but hey ho so let's get a path going from here to here to here to here I mean, the path's kind of crooked. Uh, it'll be fine. Okay, so where's Alpha? Has he figured out he can eat yet? Alpha has figured out he can eat. from fossils that have been collected inside your fossil center. That will increase the amount of viable data you have to create dinosaurs. Fossil center. Okay. Extract fossils to build genomes. He's going to read it. The fossil center lets you extract DNA from fossils and amber in order to create new dinosaur genomes. Exciting! Extract fossils to build genomes for each dinosaur. Viable genomes allow you to create dinosaurs at the Hammond Creation Lab. Expeditions sometimes bring back extra finds that can be sold for cash. Awesome. So let's see what we've got. <clears throat> oh wow, we've got quite a lot. So we have Struthia Mimus gene. Struthiomimus, Triceratops, Edmontosaurus, Ceratosaurus, Ceratosaurus, and Ceratosaurus. We want the very high quality one first. And then we want this one, 
And then we also want this one. And then we'll just extract the Triceratops and the Epimentosaurus. Oh, we're losing money. A greater variety of dinosaurs would improve your island rating, so attract more guests. Okay. So, Streety Minimus. We have a Streety Minimus, so I'm not too worried about that. So now, we need to attract more guests by building more dinosaurs. So maybe we can build Alpha, a friend. I say build. Maybe I should say incubate. So let's build Charlie and, El and Bravo. I know, I'm so original with my names. New viable genome, Ceratosaurus. So Ceratosaurus is a it's predator. Right. These creatures like grist for the mill or propping them up as curiosities. Ceratosaurus is a predator, so we need a separate enclosure for him to roam in. Oh, one of the one of the Cerats, one of the dinosaurs. One of your failed. dinosaurs has failed to incubate. I never said bringing back dinosaurs was going to be easy. Incubating a dinosaur with less than 100% genome can fail. The viability trait determines the chance of incubation success. Success rate of grades applied to the Hammond Creation Lab will increase viability. Gene modifications decrease viability. Gene modifications will increase the incubation costs but can produce dinosaurs with significant benefits and a higher rating. So, Bravo failed. I'm calling Beta. Let's do beta again. I'm going to modify beta's genome. I'm going to use that there. So he's a little bit more expensive now. But Charlie here, he's okay. So I'm going to release Charlie. Charlie, because Beta failed, Bravo failed. So he's just having a whale of a time right there. And that one failed as well. So maybe, maybe he's not meant to be. So here, let's see what fossils we've got. Struthiomimus is what we need to make better. I feel like we need another park? Another bit here for this, the carniv carnivores. Because the carnivore is just going to eat all of my Struthiomimus. I feel like this area of the park could be where we incubate uh, carnivores. Mass landscaping going on here. Okay, so to incubate another carnivore, I need another in another creation lab because the if I if I build in this one, it's just going to release here. So I need to sort of build it into a, its own enclosure. Build cast obstructed. Can I just build it again over here? I could build it over here. But then I need a whole enclosure and a road. So I can have a road over here. Yeah, let's do it. Let's have a, a carnivore paddock. I'm gonna get rid of some of these trees. Part of what we are is about growth. The bigger we are, the more we have to adapt to our animals' uh, needs. See, we can't go here. I'm not worried about spending all this money because I know as soon as we release a ceratosaur, ceratosaur, we get a mill. So I just want to be, have a nice, wide open plain for him to roam in. So we need a fence, first and foremost. We need uh, a fence here. So no gaps in the fence, right? Because that would be bad. Nope, no gaps in the fence. That's a bit weird, but you know. We can fix that. So here we can have this, and here we can have this, and then we need a gate, so let's put a gate in. Let's put a gate in here, and now we need a path. So let's put the path in all, all the way around the edge. Now this is going to be 
quite interesting to see if the, uh, the Ceratosaur tries to eat the humans. Okay, so that's connected to that. Now we need a power station, so I'm going to put that there. Uh, terrain constraints. We kind of need it very fairly close. Okay, so we're running out of money now. Uh, no substation, so we need a substation as well. Okay, we're very close, we're very low on funds right now. So we need to link this up. Uh, if I had a limited fund on this, that would be fantastic. So now I need to incubate a Ceratosaur. The hatchery is offline because it doesn't have power. Well, we have two animals and there's literally no one in a park. That's an issue. Right, okay. So can we send someone else out on expedition, maybe? That costs money. Right, okay. And then the research centre. Right, so we need to upgrade this one. Three hundred thousand. I've wasted all my money. Ah, okay. I need something to make money. Can I do that? Can I make a visitor center? Uh, emergency shelter, hotel, gift shop. We can afford a gift shop. I can't afford fast food. So let's get a gift shop real quick. Then it's on the path. We've got 8,000 left. Oh boy, this is going to be tight. So that is where we're going to end it for episode 1. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, and check back next time for the part 2 of this Let's Play series. Hopefully we can survive the financial crisis I've popped myself into. But maybe, maybe we can't. So we'll just have to wait and see.